Hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about relative masses and specifically relative masses with regards to things on an atomic scale. Relative atomic masses, relative isotopic masses, relative molecular masses and relative formula masses. Now, the first one of these is relative relative atomic mass. And this is a this is a sort of mass with regards to things on with regards to a single atom. But before I actually go into what it, what this what this means exactly, I'm going to tackle the question: Why do we need something like relative atomic mass? Well, if you imagine an atom in the air. And we wanted to know the mass of this atom. When you're cooking, when you're baking, especially, oftentimes if you're new to a recipe, you'd want to have a scale. This scale probably measures stuff in grams. 0 0.00, nothing on this scale, so it would be 0 0.00 grams. And let's say you wanted to measure the mass of this atom. If you were to put an atom on a scale such as this one, do you think it would show anything in your readings? Probably not. But why? Because atoms are so, so tiny. They're so tiny that if you were to put a single atom on something like this, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't actually register any readings. Even if you had one, even if you had the scale which was really, really sensitive, it probably still wouldn't register anything if you put a single atom on it. For this reason, we must look to another method of quantifying the mass of single atoms. And we don't use scales. What we well, we use a scale, but it's not a physical scale. It's a it's more of a con it's, it's more of a concept kind of scale. It's a it's something you would perceive, but not 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 in a physical sense. Because atoms are so small. Now, how can we measure? How can we, how can we, not even measure, but how can we actually try to imagine the size of an atom, or the, ma the mass of an atom, if we can't actually measure them using a physical scale? Well, what we can do is actually compare that atom to something which is sort of a similar size to that atom, because the kilogram, for example, is, 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 is relative to a physical object which weighs a kilogram currently in the same way we can compare an atom to something which is similar size to an atom if not an atom <laughs> if you if you i hope you see where i'm going with this but the reason why we use relative atomic mass is because we try to get around the fact that we can't actually use a physical scale to weigh a single atom so what we do is we compare the mass of whatever atom we have with the mass of another atom because it's such a similar size and such a similar mass. And what scientists and specifically chemists, but scientists have chosen to compare atoms to when we're using relative atomic mass is one twelfth of an atom of carbon 12. And carbon 12 is a specific type of an atom. Uh, of carbon which has 12 protons and 12 neutrons it's a specific isotope because there are different isotopes of carbon but this is re relative to, to carbon 12 specifically now with all the relative masses which you're going to encounter in AS chemistry it's going to be relative to 1 12 of an atom of carbon 12 so just bear that in mind when you see relative atomic mass relative molecular mass relative isotopic mass now, in the next few videos, I'll be covering relative atomic mass, relative isotopic mass, relative molecular mass, and relative formula mass. So, I'll see you there. Bye.